Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're going to install the Abandonware version of Deadpool. Now, I can't get this for you, I can't link it for you, uh, even though it is considered Abandonware. Uh, however, if you search a particular archive site, I'll bet you'll find it. So I'm going to uh, install this on my SD card under the folder games. Now you might want to put it on internal storage, make a folder called games or whatever. So first we're going to extract the archive if you haven't already done so. And you'll see that inside are binaries and some other stuff. We're going to drag that folder right on over to where we want to run it from. In this case, it'll be on my SD card in the games folder. Your mileage may vary. Clean up after ourselves a little bit. So the centralized storage really makes life easier because you're going to be creating a Proton prefix for this game, but you don't want the game installed in there, especially if you have a very small drive internal. So that's why we choose usually to put it on the SD card. All right, now I've got, an, I've got the purchased version, so forgive me if that's already there. We'll go ahead and add a game in a non-Steam game. We're going to browse and we're going to go to where we move that Deadpool file folder two and go to primary games Deadpool and then here's where the game is actually all at we're gonna need to go into binary so that's where the executable is to launch the game dp.exe and select open easy peasy lemon squeezy we do have a few more things we need to do though so we're gonna go ahead and sort the left games list by typing in DP and that'll give us our DP EXE and we are ready to go and check a couple of things. So we're going to go down to properties. Now you want to make sure that the target and start in both have double quotes at the beginning and at the end. Now in my case I can get away with it because I have no spaces in my file name but you might so make sure that both of these fields have double quotes at the beginning and at the end. And we're going to force Proton Experimental. This is required. Experimental is the only one outside of GE Proton that will actually work for this. And we'll make our first run and we'll see if it'll actually run. Now, remember, some games like this might need DirectX or Microsoft Visual C++. Fortunately for us, this uh, uh, Abandonware version is ready to go. And we're not going to start it here because I'm in desktop mode. I just wanted to make sure it actually came up. If there were any requisites, it probably would have come up and bugged us for it already. However, we can do a couple of things here before we run off. We can go here and actually rename our shortcut. If I could type, of course. And I'm going to put the word Abandonware after this one because I already own the game. So I want to be able to see the difference between the two of them once I add artwork and stuff to the Abandonware version. Perfect. Okay. I think we're ready now to go ahead and head over to gaming mode where we can play this thing proper. Off we go. All right. So now I haven't added any artwork, so it's pretty obvious which one is the uh, Abandonware version of Deadpool. So let's go ahead and run that. We'll open up Deadpool and hit play. Now we already know the game works and there shouldn't be any requisites, but we do want to spot check a couple of known areas where the game did have problems prior to Proton Experimental. All right, so I'm going to skip the very, very long intro here. And uh, I'm going to just start a campaign fresh. And I'm going to skip all the stuff at the beginning of the campaign. Now, in the very beginning, when the Steam Deck first came out, when you got to your apartment and you stood up, the graphics just started chewing themselves up. It was very strange. Um, but now when you do this, you get up, uh, nothing's going on, everything looks right. That's huge progress compared to how it ran out of the box prior to. So we're just gonna let him run around a little bit. I just want you to be able to see that the game is running properly. There's no graphic artifacting, there's no glitching. Uh, all of which were uh, present previously in the game and might be present if we don't have a requisite like something like DirectX or the right version of DirectX. Enough of that. Let's get him actually into the game engine proper and not in the interactive apartment. This is another location that even if you could skip the apartment and you got in here, the graphics would start chewing themselves up and you can see clearly that it does not and everything looks great. So this is the abandonware version. Um, obviously, if you're willing to spend a grand or 
500 bucks or something like that, you can get a Steam key still. This game is delisted. I don't suspect we'll see it again. So uh, the abandoned where uh, moniker is probably well justified for this title. And with uh, Deadpool and Wolverine out there, everybody wants to play a little Deadpool. And now you can, thanks to the wonders of Abandonware. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.